fun. I almost forgot to hit the start stream button. But yeah, I had to restart the stream, but I got my mic up. Changed my mind about the whole no commentators thing. Like, I did a couple rounds, so I was feeling more up to actually commentating. And I know, like, I don't want to Twitch just watch the stream. Like, why would you watch someone not commenting when there's like 20 million other people playing this game that actually are commenting? That's at least one perspective to look at it at. Also, every time I, like, give me one sec, I'm gonna lose the music for just a millisecond. Back! Just realized that it probably come out a little closer if I had the mic a little closer to, you know, the talking mouth singing above. So yeah, this is a game i kind of been playing on and off on my own time. I wasn't actually going to stream it, but I'm just like, ugh, I, I prom I'm trying to stream every Monday now, but I really don't feel up to talking. It's been a long day. I just streamed the other day because I decided to stream my community day instead of the usual Saturday I stream Pokemon Go stuff. And I'm thinking like, what's something I could do without like pulling up the mic? And I'm thinking like, eh, I've been meaning to try to figure out if I can actually stream PC games without it being a complete and utter mess. Then why not do a few rounds of Fall Guys? If it is a complete utter mess, I'll at least be able to play the game. And now I'm actually feeling up the talking and the stream hasn't blown up yet. And I might as well keep it that way. One thing that sucks about this layout is that I have to like close out the game every time I want to like swap Screens over to something that I can monitor a little bit better. Yeah, yeah. I'm, if I was feeling this way up from the start, it's I'm gonna have to like play around my streaming schedule a little bit more. Maybe I can just do chill stuff this until I figure it out. But like Monday nights aren't working out for me. I just it's, I just get back from work. Slime climb is a very perfect metaphor for a typical work day. Ugh. Should be simple, but may frustrating by the people you work around with. And other unexpected factors. Mostly, mostly like it sucks even though everyone else that plays the game doesn't even have any issues with it whatsoever. And then every now and then you get like that one person that makes your life miserable. That's how Slime Climb is a pretty good metaphor for the work day. No, I'm kind of oh, yeah. I went for the trap, didn't I? Oh no, that actually worked out. I mean, honestly, that's the hardest part for me, that particular section there. Assuming we don't get anyone, like, trolling the beanbags. Oh, well, you know, there's people camping out on the beanbags. I wonder if they're there to give me a hug. Fun. Um, second worst part out of the way. And this is probably actually the most record I actually have, or most time to spare I have, with something like Slam and Climb. So as long as I take my time here, I think we're well um, worth it. Like, I want... Like, once you get past this point... Maybe I'm speaking a little too soon. But usually once you get past this point, all the trolls are kind of done. Honestly, though, like, I, I was just rushing and that's kind of the reason some of that must happen. Ugh. Come on. Come on. Give me one that I can... Ugh. Also, this is the chill fall guy stream. When I, when if I swear, the stream ends. Wow! 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 Frick! I'm 
freaking out. But usually I like go a minute and an hour here. <sighs> okay, yeah. It's a good run when I can actually finish slime climb. Oh, the poor french fry man. Why? You deserve to win, buddy. Why did they have to do that to you, you poor thing? On the bright side, I just think like... This is the... Most amount of people we've had in like second round. At least in all the games I've played. So maybe... Just maybe... We can actually play the hexagon game. Or we can have more tails. So... We got a lot of time to spare before the game actually starts. How's the weather? This would work better if I actually had people to talk with. But what am I talking about? I'm a YouTuber. I sh should be able to play conversation with myself just fine. Or I could just play the game to keep myself from getting my mom like, more bored. Plus it feels good when I actually have the tail to keep the tail. And might as well... Yeah. And I'm just gonna wait here for someone to inevitably run into me and just get the tail that way. Though this- I know the tail game is a little bit trickier when I'm live streaming because I- that's when like any sort of leg issues are really noticeable. And I think people- I was gonna say people are smart enough to me- oh, I feel so stupid like that- Literally walked past me and I couldn't grab the tail. What am I doing? One of these guys are gonna fall down, right? They're not just gonna like jump up to the upper section all day. <laughs> that was your one shot, Jackie K, and you lost it. Expecting a little bit more of a fall effect than that. Uh -oh. Hmm. I have to kind of, like jump over to let's go even actually do a commentated session. But that required messing around with my stream setup again and Rebooting the stream again, and... Let me see how... You know what? Let me see how the Pokemons are doing in my Pokemon Go. While we're waiting. I mean... I guess out of all things, a Pokemon Go would be the easiest pop-up on the stream, but it'd still be a little bit of a setup. Ugh. Really? The announcement was from four days ago. Why do you pop up the news about Jesse and Jane Blooms? While well, I'm out here trying to have fun with the video games. Again, tempted to actually, like, pull it up. Pull up Pokemon Go. Just have it a little hanging out in the corner while I'm playing this. There's not really too too many other things I can do on the side. Alright, if I'm timing this right, the door should be going down then. Oop. I just realized, like, this isn't much more commentary than when I had the mic off. Hey. Can only best get for the hard part. I just gotta pick a side and commit. I changed my commitment. <laughs> Could have been gone worse. It's gonna kill the sound, but you know what? For the funsies, let me see if I can like 
set up the phone stuff while we're waiting. Oh, you know, kind of would be bad if I actually had the camera going. Oh, cool! I can minimize the gaming window and it still shows up on the live stream. That's actually perfect, and we'll make getting this Pokemon Go screen out a lot easier. There is the aspect that I'm using. I was using it for. At least I was using it for live streaming in that. Oh, oh, windmills are starting up. And I really gotta have to chat window now, because otherwise there's no way I'm gonna see what's going on. So next game I'm gonna... Next game, we'll have Pokemon Go up in the corner. <laughs> hey, it's like the stream is slowly evolving, or de-evolving, depending on your term, as it goes on. Is that... I'm pretty sure that is going to kill... <laughs> that is going to cause more lag than anything else. <laughs> Fantastic. Let me, come on, let me just grab the ledge. I'm not even going to try platforming in this mess. I mean, like, if there's any stage I want to be a complete and utter mess, it's the windmill stage. The game just freaking told me what it was called for real. I don't care. It's the windmills in my heart. How did that not result in me just like coming fodder? Also, pro fall guy stiff. Always go for the center. I was gonna say, even though you'll never make it, you really don't lose anything from doing so. But then again, I had to open my big fat mouth and make it first time. Because I got through so early though, that gives me like plenty of time to get to the end. And do I want to be a chill dude and like give one wave? Hello. You can do it, guys. You can do it. Okay. Gonna lose game audio again for just a little bit. I kind of wonder if it was a little too loud this whole time. I'm gonna just... Which gives me some fantastic features that allow me to pretty much copy something, bring over here. I do have to do have to crop it again, but that shouldn't be too hard. Again, we're playing with the setup on the fly. Why not? It's a super casual stream tonight, and. Looks like this is super killing the audio quality. I'll play around more with that next round. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it's this game. Which way are the blocks coming? That way. Uh, the problem with this game, you always have at least one pusher to try to make it more interesting because they feel like they're so funny. Just grabbing the people and eating them off the stage. Okay, I almost screwed that up terribly. Okay, a little out of touch before, but I think I'm back in the group of this game now. Wait, 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 what am I doing? The edge is over that way. Something tells me like this is gonna be the game I lose. Like I am doing all the things a bad block party player would do, including getting grabbed by the jerks. I understand griefing is an optimal strategy, but it's still a jerky strategy. How did I not, like, fall on my face that time? Okay, you should... Nah. I feel like there's been... There's gonna be so many... How am I not dead yet moments? <laughs> Ooh, too close to the stage. You can't get that close when there's, like, pushy pushers all over the place. 
Chill, Fall Guys stream. Chill, Fall Guys stream. Chill, Fall Guys stream. Uh, is this just my imagination, or was that one of the more brutal rounds of that game that I've seen? Anyways, while we're waiting for the game to load up again, more Pokemon Go, and try to tell if it's gonna, like, destroy everything in the process. Mmm... I wish I could figure out a level where we could have the Pokemon Go stuff without blocking gameplay. Just because I, by the time I'm done fiddling around with it. I mean, it's a soccer game. Something tells me I'm gonna lose anyways. Oh, hey! We got goalies now! Thank you, video game! And I'll help protect the back just because I feel like I'm better with that than actually... Oh, 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 oof. The game can only help you from sucking so much. Fantastic bananas. Like there wasn't enough of them in your reference. <laughs> okay, I, that was... That was a low ball. I don't apologize. I got so caught up trying to catch up for the fact that we losing. I should. Pro I would say I should just stay back and be goalie like I do best, but I don't even think I do goalie good. Great, freaking banana! Please, don't grab me. I'm your friend. I'm trying to help you from not. I'm trying to help us not lose here. Thank you very much. I know I'm not very trustable, but if you could just... Ah, fuck. Oh, no, 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 the balls, ball, 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 balls coming from the side. And where did that happen? Is there two bananas, or did that banana just leak over there? Ugh. I think we've lost. I don't think there's any coming back from this particular mess. You know, I've seen videos of the bananas and the footballs and all this random junky shaped stuff, but this is the first time I'm actually experiencing it. And I'm not so happy with it. Anyways, how's that Pokemon Go stuff in the corner going? <sighs> you know, I can... I was gonna say, I can help us and suck a little less. <laughs> That's not gonna be an issue. Oh, it's like plenty much on my own. Now, the question is, do I really want to destroy the internet and try to do Go Battle League? Between sets? Nah. There's not that much time. Oh, shoot, I forgot to quit. And it's final round Fall Mountain. Now, Not really too much to see here. Let me quit game, let me quit. You know what? If I wasn't... if I actually would had extra audio and not the game audio, it probably would be a lot easier to just swap between the two and I could just like close Pokemon Go's window when the games actually start. Without, like, completely being the game. Eh, I think, like, in the, it's kind of okay in the little corner there, right? Can't really clean out my box without the IV cover anyways. Since, like, since I did some playing outside of the Porygon Community Day stream, I can at least, like, showcase my shiny haul. Got 22 Porygons throughout that 6 hours. Not bad considering I spent, like, 3 hours home and probably at least 1 hour doing raids. So there is that. 
Now can the Chikorita just get caught so we can move on with our lives? I can I can snipe this clothes real quick. Is that Biggie's? <laughs> Did I see the fable Biggie's at the end there? Only one way to find out. I swear, they have like the hammer on this stage of all things. That's gonna be so hype. Come on, come on. I want to see more giant hammers that swing halfway across the stage. The ragdoll physics in this game is what I live for. Where is it? Why am I doing this? I should just finish. I lost. I lost because I was trying to. I lost because I was trying get hit by the hammer when it was completely unnecessary. Well, it's a shame. I thought they put it in an area where you can, where just walking to the end wasn't the obvious answer. I mean, like, I know in, like, a lot of other things kind of still is the obvious answer. But we can pretend. We can pretend at the very least. Alright, just remind me to shrink that when we actually got Pokemon Go. This chicory is just being stubborn, not getting caught. No matter what I throw its way. Alright. Wow. Why is this chicorita just a stubborn girl? That I mean, like if a grape is not gonna catch it. Highly doubt that the freaking whatever I call that maneuver is. Well, call it just in time to say goodbye to Pokemon Go for a little bit. Well, I got this going though. I should probably like... Pull up stream laps. Make it a little easier to get to some degree. Alright. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I real my basic physics kicked in after I made that jump. And I said, center is good, except when it's not. And like I'm not going over there because I do it goes down a little because I know it's just like a single fall way to doom. I mean, that wasn't much better, but at least I didn't like fall into the abyss and have to restart. It'll be interesting to actually like look at this in editing when I do get around to it. Cause I don't freaking game's chugging chugging harder than the early days of LPing. Come on, come on. Uh, not sure how much that momentum helped, but it definitely didn't hurt. S thank you for being a little chucky. Or pushy. That was a mistake. Going over there seems like a mistake. But if I can at least get more in the center, I'll make it work out. Wow, is that the end already? I think that's the most science I've actually ever put into... Let's just call a sea sauce like it actually is. Sound out Pokemon Go on. There is a Paris there. So we can at least like play around with that. And are we gonna make it on? It's not like the game already made it kinda obvious that we were. 
Now, I forgot to check the event like, and see what actually was the new thing, but I feel it feels kind of weird they're doing the fa they announced the fashion thing before the actual event going on currently actually started. I think it started by this point, but I haven't really seen any first around, so I don't really know for sure. Never turn down a chance for a shiny Charmander, as slim as it may be. Alright, roll out. Time to put Pokemon Go away. Until the next loading screen. Alright. I shouldn't, I shouldn't do any risky plays when the internet is chugging around half a second, but desperate times call for desperate measures. I feel like this is one game if I get pushed, I'm going to be in for a bad time. So just like work, if I can avoid contact with people, that'd be great. Yeah. Oof. Oof. I probably waited too long there. More than halfway there, just gotta get like eight more suckers. I know it's like seven, but you can't be too safe. I'll take an. <laughs> if two people wanna go down at the same time and we have 17 eliminations, I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna go out of my way to make it happen, cause. That seems. That's not my model. That's not the way I play. So I'm not gonna push. I wouldn't want it to happen to me, so I'm not going to have it! I was number 16, wasn't I? Well, that sucked a rather fine hand basket. Uh, it's almost 9, maybe one more round. All picks I could catch. Got book running on the gyms. Oh yeah, I guess swap my buddy around. That should be fine to do on stream. I'll double check because I just realized I forgot to actually pull up the stream. And indeed, it's a good thing I checked. And you know, it's time for the next round anyway, so... So much for getting Pokemon Go on the screen. And at least I know what I'm gonna do... For the next set. Avoid the fake doors. Eh, typical Fall Guy grind. I wonder when they're gonna get rid of the memory game. It just feels pointless, like... I'm bad at it. But it also feels like... It's the game people get eliminated from the least. It, often you have to have another round of games just to make up for the fact that no one got eliminated from the memory game. Like, I'm the only person who ever legitimately gets eliminated from the memory game. Like, you can't even grief people. Not that I've done it, I've seen people try though. Um, and that just kind of makes the game suck even more because like I get distracted from actually trying to memorize th The stuff Because I'm so worried about the freaking griefers It is part of the game like <laughs> It does add in the whole party element And like there is legitimate strategy to grabbing like I think like the only time I personally can justify griefing is in the team games where you're basically in the team games where you're helping out a teammate by holding down an opponent. Other than that, it just comes off too short. It just comes off more jerk than strategic. Even though like I've seen enough videos to know how people find it strategic. I think I actually did it once before pulling up the mic. 
And it's the tail game again. So you know what? I guess we do get a little time for Pokemon Go after all. Like, oh, and we got like Tingo Rocket. That's something I can do. Nah, I'm, I'll wait. Like, the joke is that the game doesn't matter until like the last thirty seconds. But if someone like like this red dude over here just walks right by me, think oh man, I feel bad. That guy was like trying to trying to be a bro, help me get the guy's tail by holding him down, just like I was talking about. And then I just have to go be a fool and not be able to get him. And in my defense, I think like there's a, I think the game lag is a little bit part of, like. Fun. Am I even still alive? Cause I'm press. Fun. Just when I thought I was gonna have fun with the game. <laughs> At least now we got plenty of time to fight this grunt. What was their hint again? I wasn't even paying attention. Cold and ready to strike. You know what? I'm just gonna like. Pop out Dulcer out here real quick and clean things up from there. And by the time I finish feeding Dulcer, it'll probably be time to actually go on and do some more. But I mean, like, at least I don't think the rocket grunt's gonna be going away anytime soon. So I can just like feed him up now. And then do the battling in the next set. Just get him on screen so it's less likely to go away. But that's windmills and I'm gonna miss windmills for a world. Uh, so that seems like a good setup. Farewell, Pokemon Go. We'll see you in the next loading screen. I'm gonna play with around with some windmills. I was wondering if the, they just didn't load so right away, but from this angle I can actually see, nah, they're just in the back there. Oop. Yeah, the ragdolling is just fantastic in this game, and it's always a treat to see it. Like, even when I lose, I win. But I do try to win. Oh, come on. At least you get invincibility frames as you're climbing up. I wonder if, You know what? Let me just see if I can get... I was gonna see if I could just get flung over to the top, but it's not really saving me any time at this point. Okay. Now I'm not even trying to avoid the freaking windmills. Okay. Like I said, always go for the center. It may not be the smartest play, but I feel like you don't really got anything to lose. Always go for the center. Ali oop. <laughs> to be fair, that's the first time I actually didn't even get a chance to land. One one more time. I think I kind of already screwed this sulfur for myself. But it's worth it for windmills. Now I can just get up in time. This is what I was trying to say. Like, if you don't get in the center, you could just go around on the side there. Maybe I can still... Oh. Frick! I got this... I'm definitely not going to make it now. Is there a funny way I can go? You know, it'd be funny if I actually ended up not getting knocked out, but hey. I definitely saw at least one dude person get over there, and I mean, I'll just take the DC. <laughs> it's probably going to lose anyways. It's be nice to at least get some of the fame from all my losage. Instead of just getting get disconnected. There's not a clock and probably a good sign to end off the stream soon. 
also most is gonna take care of this rocket ground without actually showcasing or doing anything with it and wow that is some terrible Pokemon Go leg not sure if I really got a way to improve it and that is the game is running just fine that's just my stream layup I'll admit Wow, the stream does not, <laughs> it does not like this, and to be fair, it shouldn't. Because I'm basically like using internet to broadcast my phone onto my computer and then screen capturing it. There's a lot of ways for the lag to just go terribly wrong. Also, I was kind of hoping that I'd be done with this by now. So I can actually enjoy Whirly Wag, aka the windmill game. Oh. This new reel's gone. Done. Goodbye, Pokemon Go. We will visit you soon. Shortly. Oh! Frick. The Nidoreal. I'm sorry, I closed the game and Nidoreal's not dead. Nidoreal is back with a vengeance, so now I gotta multitask and just tap him like one more time. Now Nidoreal's down. I think that. That, I think that actually worked better than actually just trying to avoid the stuff in the first place. Like, this might actually be one of my better runs of Whirlywag. Hmm. False Guys is definitely one of those just one more round game. And I'm already kind of wondering if I'm actually going to bother with one more round. It's just my imagination, but I don't recall actually getting knocked off off. And usually what happens is like I get hit by the windmill and land on the other platform, so it never really feels like the ramp is a risk. And yet here I am, probably losing two games because of it. Hey. Still in that game as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Minor setback. Almost major setback. Can I make it before I get it? Oh good. Now we can actually see how good that Shadow Pokemon that the Rocky Grunt had is. See if it was worth all the fuss. And think it was, I forget even forget what poison type she led with. But there aren't really too many exciting shell poison types. So it probably is anything special. Yeah, it's just an Iran female. We'll take the free rocket radar piece. Cause it would be nice to get another shiny shadow Pokemon from the leader. The Jesse and Jane Blooms are supposed to be popping up soon, aren't they? Maybe it's not until the end of the week. I could probably check real quick, like all the news you need to know is within the app. Yeah, it's September 22nd, so... Oh, tomorrow at 12 a.m. So not yet, but almost. No, we got... Uh, sorry, I was trying to get rid of the Pokemon Go before the game actually started. Uh, you know, it was sea sauce. I don't even know why I was why I'm rushing. I could have just taken it, and probably the end result probably wouldn't have been much different than it is right now. Yeah, like yeah, wait for that to reset. Bit of risk, definitely a risky play. <laughs> Thankfully, it seemed to have paid off. Oh wow, this yeah, this is like a round two sea sauce. So it's a lot less generous with that elimination window. I may be sweating a little. I have no idea how I made that. This was a bad play. Dirty bad play. At least I got free reign at these sea sauce in the back. Because no one, literally no one else is falling. Ugh. Come on. 
wonder if this game looks as bad in the stream layout as it is for me actually watching the original screen. So I think my soul's hoping that's not the case. Frick. There's no way I'm gonna win this when I'm just like at a 20 second stream delay. Frick. I was hoping I could at least make it to the yellow platform. Ugh. It's a mess, but at least we didn't get DC'd. At least I got some fame out of it. Mm, we'll see how it feels after one more game. Mm, probably want to try to find a way to, like, get the stream yeah, a little more visible. I'm running into the same issue that I have normally with console games, where I'm just trying to do... Where I have to sacrifice some monitor space for... Pokemon. For the game. Actually see the video game on my screen. Scre valuable green screen space that I would normally use... To actually... See all my windows. Goodbye, Pokemon Go. I think that's actually the last we'll see of Pokemon Go tonight, unless, like... <gasps> it's, it's the Hammer of Glory. It's here. Three, two, one. Now, the real question is... How much of my rank am I willing to sacrifice just for the satisfaction of getting yeeted by the big yeetus? I think the answer is all of it, but we'll have to actually wait and see. Am I willing to get a lemon day round one just for a chance to play with the giant hammer? The answer is probably yes. But at least I, I remember like very early on when I was first getting into Fall Guys, I would fall down there all the time. And now I realize this is a beginner's trap. Yeah, I can't believe it's coming up so soon. Come on. Line myself up right. True Romano! That was everything I could have hoped for and more so. It actually played out smartly. It's a good thing because I think I'm going to get eliminated because of those random lemonades. Pre-lemonade lemons at the dairy end there. I, it was close. I, you saw how few people crossed that qualify line when I got yanked away? And only to get that satisfaction of such a successful play ruin by random fruits. I mean, that's Fall Guys for you, but still. So I'm just going to check off while the Pokemon Go screen is off if I got any good IV stuff worth keeping today. Apparently like there's the Beldum researches are now like hatch one egg for a Beldum encounter because I got like freaking three three or so Beldums just on the way home from work today from research, field research of all those things. I think eventually we're gonna get some more... Oh boy. Egg scramble. At least I'm not the yellow team. But I'll still never get how you actually steal eggs from people in this game. Maybe I should help. What even happened? How did I lose my egg? I never will fully understand how grabbing works in this game. Dude, dude, dude. Attack the toucan! <laughs> He's no tiger cedar wall. Man, that's a reference no one's gonna get. Freaking blue. No. If I can do one thing right, 
that's gonna be making sure we don't lose our freaking golden egg. What sort of alternate reality have I jumped into where the yellow team's the one doing the griefing? No, screw it. It's not gonna... Also, I don't get it because I never am good with actually taking the eggs out of someone else's spaces. And I know I went the most convoluted long way possible, but I, it's better than how I usually handle this game. Maybe I should, like, help my friends. Help make sure we don't get eliminated last minute by the yellow team. And this strange alternate reality that I've stumbled into where the yellow team is not the ones getting grief, they are the griefers. The f come on, come on. Okay, as long as no yellows leave the base. We should be good. Thank goodness. I was actually a little worried that I was going to end up being Mr. Yellow Team, even though I was on Mr. Red Team. Nothing personal, Yellow. I understand your grief. As you may have been able to tell when I had the Pokemon Go screen up, I'm on Team Instinct. <laughs> I totally get the woes of being Yellow. And fun! It's the memory game. The good news is that 9 times out of 10, you can just follow the crowd and win. The bad news is that the 1 out of 10 times often feels like less than 1 out of 10. So I do try to try my best to try to do the memory on its own. Which means you're not going to get any commentary because my it's going to be just me I was pu putting my mind mindset, which is right now bananas on the left, cherries on the right. Banana, cherry, banana, cherry. Cherry is where I'm standing. Awesome. No griefers. I have an at least double. I had to open my mouth, didn't I? Alright, so find an area where I can see them all. Banana. Banana, cherry, orange. Banana, cherry, orange. Banana, cherry, orange, banana, cherry, orange, and there's a grape right after the orange. Banana, cherry, orange. Good thing I made a last minute note of the grape. It's fine. It's fine. Just because it's not where everyone is doesn't mean that's not the one. Alright, so grape, apple, watermelon. I'm staying down here. Grape, apple, watermelon. Orange. Oh man, I gotta grab her here. No, I'm gonna just follow the crowd. I'm on orange though, aren't I? I feel bad for all those people that made it but got knocked off last second. But at least I don't gotta worry about them later. Now, I'm not quite sure if I want to pull back up the Pokemon Go screen yet. But I can at least go through an IV, check a couple more things. This is in a cast form that's like 1346 CP. No good, unfortunately, so I can't, like. So I'll probably just dump it anyways. Did the game give us. I was gonna say, did the game give us sl slime climb? But then again, I shouldn't be celebrate. I've only played this game like once. So I could. This could go badly, because I have no idea <laughs> the optimal strategy is. Like, I think, like, there is a strategy of having one person go up ahead just to prep to grief the other team. I'm not sure if I want to take on that responsibility, though. You know what? Desperate times call for desperate measures. I'm going ahead. I think I made a mistake, but I'm already committed. I made a terrible mistake. I mean, the first mistake is being on Team Yellow, of course. Ugh. I only have to grief one team. Frick. 
we are going to lose. And I will fully admit as my fault. <sighs> wow, it's already 9.20. Do I do one more round? I still got some more Pokemon. No, what am I doing? I gotta quit. I gotta quit before I get stuck spectating the next round. Wow, and that was like four rounds into it too. Let's, let's see what it looks like at least. I like my mint ice cream look though. Until I get something that emphasizes this my sweet tooth, I'm gonna keep mint chocolate. Even though this is probably one of the more generic costume setups. Like my only room for compromise is either feet or when I'm playing with a friend, pants to make it easier to distinguish. I guess I could give myself like. Nah. Alright. One more round. As I said, a game famous for constant one more rounds. And if, it, if I was doing anything interesting in the Pokemon Go scene besides just checking IVs and stuff, I'd pull that back up. With all the trouble setting it up and. Oh, there's a wild sea dot. Yeah, let's see if I can catch the sea dot. It's just a sea dot, but it is water boosted, so a little more stardust is all good for me because I can. I'll never run out of things to power up with stardust. I know it seems like I have so much with the million stardust in that. But if I really wanted to, I could burn for that. Like, I. Let's double check how much Stardust I have. I easily used to have 2 million Stardust. And then, like, the end of Go Battle came up, and I decided to power up, like, 2 Shadow Pokemon for that, and 1 Shadow Pokemon, because I got a really good. Because I got a perfect IV Magnus Zone. While it was still Shadow. So, of course, I'm gonna. That's, like. That's, like, near the top for Electric types when you're doing any rates where electric types are advantageous for, so of course I'm gonna power up that sucker. I'm not that high up in my moral crossroad. Wow. This is going terribly. The good news is I highly doubt that it will matter too much in the end. Oof. The good news is, like, I don't have to worry about going late at the rate that this... At this rate, I'm gonna get eliminated round one, and we won't have to worry about overextending the stream. Oof. Why? Why did I have to have the brain fart? I'm doing bad enough at this game. Is there a big use to pull things around? No, there is not. I mean, hypothetically, I can still win if I don't get hit by a single one of these. I said a single one of these. Wow. How the heck did I make that? So, how about I off screen check how good that C that is? It is nothing to write home about. Almost got things clean up. That does remind me, I still gotta like dump all my shiny Porygons that I don't want into Let's Go Eevee. And that'll be probably something to do another day unless I get super bored. Two, one. The 
before before lad, I'll be joining him instantaneously. Thankfully, it, I don't think it really matters too much. I kind of like what they did in this new version of the map. It's honestly a little bit more engaging than just like go with the flow and hope that you get flung, your body gets flung all the way to where you need to go. And I'm playing a dangerous game, not hanging out in the center there. Mostly because of that. And I. Maybe it's, I'm thinking of the other map rotation, but they did something to like make it so like clinging the side isn't the surefire win strategy at any time. And considering like that's the worst, this is the worst part. I kind of am sad about that. Anyways, I mean I'm I'm tempted to show what's on the Pokemon Go screen right now, but all I'm really doing is just like. Try and take advantage of the fact that I can swap between 20 buddies. I'm just taking a photo, petting them, just so I can like build up friendship with a bunch of Pokemon. And I don't know if it really justifies like turning on this Pokemon Go screen for two seconds, only to have to close it again, interrupting the nice music that this game has in the process. Alright. Three and a two and a one. Now, at least I can finally say I did it. I streamed Fall Guys. Uh, am I with the cool kiss yet, or am I already late for that? It doesn't matter. This game's fun enough on its own that it doesn't have to be cool. I will admit, though, just seeing the content creators that actually covered it really made it a lot. <laughs> really was what pushed me to actually go through with it, because it's actually even more fun to watch than it is to play. I mean, shout out to Alpharad. Probably one of the biggest influences of actually picking up the game. Because, man, like, he does some amazing fun stuff with this game. A lot of jerkish stuff, but I mean, it's for the sake of comedy, so we can let it slide by, right? <laughs> right? I'm totally not a hypocrite. And speaking of griefing, very speaking of griefing, fun, fun, fun. I thought I could trust the pineapples. Friends are my friends. I may be a dessert, but I eat my veggies. I'm playing a risky bl game, hanging out so close to the edge there, but like, I just need to do whatever I can to stay away from the griefers. <laughs> Oof. Wow. That does not feel good to get eliminated in that game of all things. Whoop. I would do one more, but... Now, how much time before the season ends? 14 days. That's plenty of days to get the second hot dog part, and while there is, like, other fun things that I could get... I feel bad if I don't at least get the hot dog. But with like another two weeks though, there's plenty of time to do that. Not sure what I'm gonna do with this on the impulse. I'll definitely like highlight the VOD for Twitch. We'll see if this makes it to YouTube at all. It might I was thinking it might be fun highlight reel, but it was kinda more on the chill side than the haha -ha funny side. I'm not sure there'd be any interesting clippable highlights from it all, but I'm glad I did. Like, fun to play this game even if I'm not live streaming, and just in the process of playing it a little without the mic kind of got me in the mood to play it with the mic. All that said though, take care.